Hey guys, how's it going? So we're Need for Speed Unbound on PC. We're running in 8K resolution mode, which is not very 100% uh, stable because it uses up all the available VRAM. But I'll go ahead and show you the graphics setting real quickly. So we're at 7680 by 4320 by 4K 144 hertz display. Dynamic resolution scaling is off. Up sampler is off. Frame generation is off. Uh, 8K with frame generation is up using Twitch VRAM, so I'm trying it with, without it on just to see if I can at least maintain at least at least 30 frames per second. So we're going to go to drive around Suspect and see what happens. There's some parts where it goes Suspect down to like below 30, like right now it's at 26, so it just kind of varies depending on uh, how heavy the, uh, the scene is. But visually, it looks great. It's just not 100% stable. Now, I tried this in the past when this game first came out, and it really wasn't even playable at all. It looks like they did make some kind of changes to allow it to at least be somewhat playable. I am uh, set up to go to a race, but I don't think it's a good idea to a race. I think it's just going to end up running at a super low frame per second, so I'm just going to start a cop chase. I'm just going to get the cops to, uh, chase after me, hopefully. Yeah, I'm at level 1 cop, so it's not going to be too uh, difficult to leave, especially in this vehicle. So far, it's actually running okay. It's using about 21 gigabytes of uh, VRAM, so maybe that seems to be just enough to allow it to be playable. I'll go ahead and try a race. I just want to see if it even kind of work, but we'll see. What I noticed is when you 8K, when you first start like a level, especially like a race, it'll run really crappy. And then it just sort of like, as the VRAM kind of adjusts, it'll get better. But we'll see what happens. Right now we're at 24 gigabytes, that's basically using all of the VRAM. So I'll try to skip these cutscenes. This is going to be kind of hard to race because I'm very limited with my driving ability because of the fact that it's going to slow down sometimes. But I'll try my best. So right now it's at like basically unplayable, unplayable limits. I even tried messing with the resolution scaling and uh, lowering, lowering the resolution scaling. But for some reason it won't work at 8K, I'm not sure why. So it seems like it's kind of a hit or miss 8K with Need for Speed Unbound. Like sometimes it's playable, sometimes it's not. It just depends on what's going on. Like right now, it's not even playable. I'm just going back and forth because the frame timing is just too poor to match what's going on on screen with what I need to do in areas. Yeah. Okay. Let's get this on. Alright, we'll try our best. I also raised the bitrate of my, uh... NVIDIA recordings. Raised to 50 megabits per second. Cause I noticed my 8K video I did yesterday, Red Dead Redemption 2. The quality does not match what I have on screen, so I figured I'll try raising the bitrate to 50. And then test another game at 8K, which is this one that I'm testing now. To see if it'll actually make it look a little bit clearer, because I did notice it not look the same as it did on my uh, point of view on my screen. If I end up winning this race, I'll be very surprised because of the fact that I'm very limited in my controls here because of the fact that it's running so poorly. The fact that I got the fastest car does help though. We'll see what happens. So 
second place, not bad. But yeah, definitely not an ideal situation, but just merely a test to see how 8K runs, and I also wanted to also test the bit very to see if this looks any clearer after I upload this on YouTube. I know YouTube has some compression too, but uh, I just want to kind of make what I have on screen match what I have on my videos. Shitty driver alert, team! Interceptor ready to kick ass! And yeah, like I said, it's kind of a hit or miss. Right, it's everybody. playable, so much it's not. It just, Damn, it really just varies. I guess it depends on how many textures are being loaded into the scene. I'm assuming that when you're closer to the buildings and stuff, I'm it's a little bit more uh, VRAM intensive. All units be advised. Perp has entered Douglas Park. Oh, they shook me, damn it. On the highway, it seems pretty that smooth, though. Just lost us at Douglas There's Park. not much surrender. Oh shit. So there it goes to the point where it gets unplayable when he uses 23 gigabytes. Which is what it's at right now. And then it lowers down to the 19, so. It just varies. I'm not purposely driving this bad, just that there's such a delay in my reaction time because of the frame timing is like so high. Wow, actually did crash. gas stations to get some repairs to the vehicle. Just tough, by the way. So yeah, it is sometimes playable, sometimes not playable, so just merely a test. And I also wanted to test if this higher bitrate makes my uh, videos a little bit more clear. So what I want to do is match what I have on screen from my eyes to what's on uh, my uploads. So, which I know I can't really do because YouTube does have compression, but... Anyways, just a little test. Not really the most ideal video situation, but just trying to increase the quality of my uh, content, so... Until then, thank you for watching, appreciate all the support, and uh, see you guys for more videos uh, soon enough. Peace out.